So a lot of you are telling me that you can create a really simple way to custom craft without using the stats command. I'm going to tell you why some of you are correct and some of you aren't really correct. So the first method that people keep telling me is that you can just have a test for block command relative to the crafter and then test the ID or the MBT tag of the dropper and then have a conditional command block that sets the block data. Let's turn this on and here are our crafters. If I put in a diamond it's going to turn into a piece of redstone dust. But look at the other crafters. They're also got redstone dust inside and hence you can just duplicate recipes. So that method doesn't work. Someone else suggested well why don't you just clone the dropper to the 0, zero coordinate, do a test for blocks command to see if they're the same and then do a block data command. Alright, let's turn this on go over here, put in my diamond, yep this works, however we still get the same problem. Then at spycraft server tweeted me a different method using minecart entities and so far this is one of my favorite methods. So go follow him, all credit goes to spycraft server for this. All we're doing here is we are tagging a minecart chest with a success tag if it has a diamond in its first slot and then relative to all the tags of success we are changing the entity data which removes the tag as you can see here and changes the items inside so if we go over here place a diamond inside and turn on the machine you'll see it becomes a piece of redstone dust however the other chests don't have any so thanks everyone for watching this quick little video update about the custom crafting without the stats command yes it will work if you only have one crafter in the world for these first two methods but after that you will end up with duplication problems thanks everyone for watching i will see you in the next one